guys! Welcome back to Danganronpa! In this episode, we got free time again, which I was not expecting. I thought someone was going to die, but uh, I'm glad that nobody died. Um, that makes me happy. But uh, yeah, now we have to figure out who we're going to talk to, and I kind of want to talk to Kyoko again! Hello, Kyoko! Oh my gosh! Hi! <laughs> Hi, Kyoko. Who set all this up and why did they choose us? There are so many mysteries. I'm going to talk very quickly. I'm in no position to tell you what to do. You're free to do as you wish, right? But I have my own way of doing things. So back off! I joined Kyoko while she searched the school. We didn't say anything to each other. I don't even know if she has anything. Actually, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have the dolls. I have the dolls! Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Kyoko a present? Yeah! What would you like to give her? I want to give her the dolls, but also if I have something else she likes. Something new! That would be pretty cool. Even though I think her reaction is the same. And I searched up if you can give them uh, the same gift twice. And they said, yup. <laughs> the internet said, yup. You can, and they say the exact same thing. <laughs> I'm like, okay, good to know. We gave Kyoko rose in vitro last time. Oh, we can give her the cherry blossom bouquet. Apparently, that's one of her loves. So I'm gonna give her a cherry blossom bouquet. How did you know I was interested in this? You're an enigma, Makoto Negi. Seeing Kyoko so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. What are you go say today, Kyoko? Can we finish this already? What? <laughs> huh? Finish? If we truly want to trust each other, we must truly know each other. Uh, oh, oh? That's what you believe, isn't it? Well, yeah, but... I understand why you feel that way, but... When it comes to me, I think you should probably give up. What? Why? Because I don't have anything to talk to you about. Does that mean you don't trust me? She's like, no! If you get too involved with someone, you're apt to lose any sense of good judgment. I learned that lesson myself all too well. Personal experience is a ruthless teacher. Personal experience? Surely by now you've noticed what I always wear. Something unique to me. Mm-hmm. What, what is it Kyoko's always wearing? Ribbon, glasses, gloves, ribbon? You mean that ribbon you always tie your hair up with? Well, it's true, I do wear a ribbon. But that's not unique to me, now is it? Oh yeah, true. Uh-oh. What is Kyoko always wearing? Oh, gloves! I guess she's wearing gloves. It's those gloves, right? That's right. Why did you bring them up? Does it have something to do with getting involved, like you mentioned? Simply put, there was a time when I grew attached to someone, and I made a bad decision. What, really? I was forced to learn a very powerful lesson, and these gloves are a daily reminder of that. What? So on these gloves, I swore to never make the same mistake again. S sorry, but... I'm not sure I completely understand. Can you tell me any more about it? Maybe then I could... I'm sorry, but I can't. That's the end of it. The end? So then, I never got to learn anything about her. About how she feels. Well, you kind of got to learn about her. She's someone important to her in the gloves. Anyway, don't get too depressed over all this. The reason I'm not willing to talk about it isn't because I don't trust you. In fact, I do have faith in you, which is why I decide to tell you what I have. So. I want you to understand why I can't tell you. I can't show you myself, just like I can't show you what's beneath these gloves. I can't remember the last person who saw what was beneath my gloves. Wait, what? That long? Yeah. That's right, and I can't imagine a point where I would show them ever again. Only someone I could call family would be worthy. Of seeing your hands? Family? Are you going to volunteer? 
Volunteer, huh? <laughs> Got you again. <laughs> Kyoko, you're so smooth. <laughs> you really are foolishly open. She did get me again and laughed at me again. But I've never really heard her laugh out loud like that. I think that must be her natural laugh. It is, right? That wasn't fake. So maybe in the end, she did show me some part of herself. Maybe she showed me her true feelings. She did! I know I always tell you to be careful and protect yourself, but... To be honest, I hope you don't change. I prefer you this way. This is... you. In the end, I never did really figure her out. But at least I got a little bit closer. Yeah, and she likes teasing you! <laughs> Your maximum number of skill points has increased! Hey, look at you go! I want to figure out what's up with Kyoko's gloves! I have no idea what that's about! After we finished up, I went back to my room. More free time? MORE FREE TIME?! Maybe. Maybe. I still have some time. I can't just sit around doing nothing. I have to find something to do. Okay, we can find something to do, Makoto. Maybe we'll run into Kyoko again. <laughs> I'm so curious now. I'm like, what is this about her gloves? I don't remember this being in the anime. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, guys. I have to figure it out. I'm like, what is up with your gloves? What is up with your gloves, Kyoko? I need to know. I suppose a change in pace is necessary sometimes. Fine then, why don't we take a little break? Yes! I wanna know what were the gloves! I spent time with Kyoko doing nothing in particular. What's happening? Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Kyoko a present? Yeah! What would you like to give her? I feel like we're almost as close as we can be. We're almost the closest to Kyoko we can be, I think. I think it's four times you need to talk to them to fill out their report card. I know, I'm scrolling past everything. She likes those dolls, right? I'm like scrolling, but I'm also looking at my list <laughs> as I'm scrolling. <laughs> yes, she loves these dolls. I should give her these dolls. Here you go. Thank you. This really means a lot to me. Seeing Kyoko so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy! What's up with your gloves? I need to know! Wait! Wait, what? <laughs> no! <laughs> Please! Huh? There's something by the door. What? But... I gave her a present! Kyoko, I gave you a present! This piece of paper... It looks like someone must have slipped it under my door. Meet in the dining hall. The handwriting is really good, but to want to meet up so suddenly, who wrote it and why? What's the point of calling me out like this? I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out now. I is it Kyoko? It's nighttime. Leave the area? Sure. Is it Kyoko? Is this secretly Kyoko? Is this like a scene we get at the end? Like, did it, did we max out her her uh report card thing? Kyoko? No, it's Hiro! Oh, Makoto! Hiro! I want to see Kyoko! Hang on! Let me look at her report card. Do we have- Oh, Oh, no. <laughs> we have Kyoko maxed! Oh! <gasps> Ooh! Most people worry about what they might lose in life, but she seems more concerned about what she's already lost. When she talks about her past, there are more questions than answers, and the more she says about herself, the more questions it raises! I have feelings just like anyone else. I've simply learned not to show them so that no one can ever have that advantage over me. If you get to know someone too well, it can cloud your judgment. The gloves I wear serve as a daily reminder never to make that same mistake again. Oh, so her report card was already maxed. Whoops! I just wasted some of our free time, but we're maxed with Kyoko, which is cool! Oh, Makoto! Hiro, the letter I found in my room. Daddy. Yep, I wrote it. Your handwriting is really nice. I thought it was from Kyoko for a second, I'm not gonna lie. Well, I was always taught that if you had bad penmanship, a ghost would come and haunt you. Who taught you that? And why did you want to meet with me? 
Oh, I just did what Kyoko asked me. <gasps> it's kind of like Kyoko inviting us. Kyoko? I'm just an errand boy on this. Anyway, what do you say to a late night bath session? Huh? Okay, let's do it. N no, I... I was totally lost. Hiro grabbed me by the shoulder, pulled me close, and whispered into my ear. He wants to go to Alter Ego, uh, Makuto. It's all an act, so the mastermind won't notice. Everyone's waiting in the bathhouse. What? Then did Alter Ego finish his search? Y you got it, Hiro! Let's take a dip together! I was probably louder than I needed to be, <laughs> but me and Hiro hurried to the dressing room. Okay. Got it. Oh. Hello, everybody. As soon as I got into the dressing room, an angry voice echoed out. Hey, you! How long were you going to keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as, as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. <laughs> it's almost 10 o'clock, you know that. Bedtime for all the good little boys and girls. <laughs> D shut up. What'd you say? You want me to make you cry, little girl? Taka, he seems to be even worse off than I'd heard. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow a personality. What? You got a lot of poop falling out of that mouth of yours, you know that? How rude! A maggot like you has no right to speak that way to our heaven-sent master! Hmm? Are you back to your normal, gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. Sh shut up! Mama. Well, anyway, everyone's here, right? Then my messenger duty is complete! Oi. You want us all to meet here, right, Kyoko? So what are we doing here? No, Isn't it obvious? It's gotta have something to do with Alter Ego, right? No, yeah, totally! Did he finally find a clue? What is it? A way out? The mastermind's true identity? Uh-oh. I just wanted to speak to Makoto one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> it's gone. What? Gone? I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's when I discovered... Alter Ego, the laptop, has disappeared. What? You're kidding, right? Oh, she's not kidding. Huh? huh? What? She's gone? You can't be fudging serious! What'd you do with him? Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we were up to? I told Alter Ego to yell if anyone he didn't recognize appeared. If it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have alerted us. Maybe we just... Missed it? I was in the laundry room right next door all day. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. That's true. F but if it wasn't the mastermind, then... The solution to this particular mystery is obvious! It could only have been... HIM! Mr. Ishimaru! You stole her, didn't you? What? I am the ultimate moral compass! I would never do something like that! I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. You're the suspicious one here! You're nothing but a big jiggling sack of fat! That's so mean. Don't! 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 Stop! Stop! <laughs> Shows what you know! This isn't my true form! I still have three more transformations left! Uh, wait! I mean, it wasn't me! Everyone knows you're the thief! Wrong! It's you! Well, I'm sure it was one of you, so whoever did it, just hurry up and confess! No, there's no way either one of them did it. Huh? Why not? I told Alter Ego to yell if either Taka or Hifumi came into the dressing room. <gasps> what? What? <laughs> it was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of them might come for it. But I never heard any yell. Exactly, which means it wasn't them. Then who was it? The fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. It wasn't Manokuma, and it wasn't one of them, so who was it? If it wasn't the Mastermind, and it wasn't Taka or Hifumi, then 
quite simply, it was someone else. Makoto, Celeste, Sakura, Hina, Toko, or myself. One of us must be the thief. Why would any of us want to steal Alter Ego? How about this for a reason? There is a traitor among us. Oh my god. Byakuya, you love Among Us. <laughs> he loves Among Us. <laughs> Every time he talks, he says something about Among Us. Is that your favorite game, Byakuya? <laughs> huh? One of us is working for the Mastermind. A spy. And that's the one who stole Alter Ego. Can you deny the possibility? It, it can't be. I've actually been thinking for some time now that there might be a spy among us. Oh my god, he said again! <laughs> the mastermind brought someone in to help keep things moving smoothly. A spy for the mastermind? A traitor? No, it's impossible. Something that horrible. Th there's no way! Why do you not speak? Are you struck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? I don't care! I don't care who! Someone! Anyone! Save her! Please rescue her! I'm begging you! I just want to see her smiling face again. Same here! How many times do they have to kill bro before they're happy? I'll beg! Scrape my head against the ground! Just please give him back! This is pretty messed up, but still, I think I kinda get how they feel. I think Alter Ego is most likely still safe, for the moment at least. If they wanted to destroy it, they wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right here. So you're saying whoever did it has something else in mind for him? Something else? That doesn't matter! N nothing else matters! No matter what it takes, I'm gonna get him back! That's my promise as a man! I swear I'll save her! Using the power of love! Ding tong, bing bong! Is it morning? Did we not sleep? Ahem, this is school announcement, it's 10 p.m. Oh, it's, it's night time. I thought it was already night time. Soon the doors will be locked. Good night. Okay. It's night time. It is unfortunate, but we will have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone get some sleep. How can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around. What good are you if you're too tired? You will be much more effective after a good night's sleep. Who gives a crap about effective? We're talking about our feelings here! Anything we do at night brings a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Makoto? I agree with you. You're my favorite person, Kyoko, right now. If we run around tonight in a panic, the mastermind is sure to notice, and we won't get anything done. Taka, Hifumi, I know how you feel right now, but it's best if, just for tonight, you can try to endure it. <laughs> okay, then let us part for today. We will begin our search for Alter Ego in the morning. <laughs> and you should think about what I said. Someone may very well be spying for the Mastermind. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Alter Ego, gone as quickly as he appeared. We'd finally discovered some small measure of hope, but even that was taken away from us, and we couldn't even put up a fight. We were given hope, and then when that hope was taken away, despair. It's just like... just like what the Mastermind is doing to us. Then, could it really be true? Whoever stole Alter Ego... Could they really be working for the Mastermind? If that's true... No! It can't be! There's no way! I didn't even realize I yelled that, that, that loud! 
that out loud. The scary thing isn't the idea of someone spying on us. What's really scary is the idea that we're starting to doubt each other again. That scares me more than anything. Damn it. I threw myself into bed, trying to shake off all those unsettling thoughts. Before long, I fell into a restless sleep. Sorry, Makoto. You're not trusting each other again. Oh, no. Murderer is a word whose definition changes with time, with place, with society. If murder is evidence of abnormality, then all of history's greatest heroes must have been abnormal. Sometimes the murders that people forgive are way more abnormal than the ones that they don't. Okay. <laughs> That's interesting, Monokuma. Thank you for that, I suppose. Now, do we have free time or is someone dead? Good morning, everyone! Nighttime is officially over! It's morning! Time to greet another beautiful day! Today, we have to look for Alter Ego. Okay, first things first. To the dining hall! Okay! I found myself in surprisingly high spirits and hurried to the dining hall. But when I found out what was waiting there for me... Uh-oh. I knew we couldn't have peace for that long. Uh-oh. I mean, I guess we're kind of not in peace right now, so... Is this it? What happened to the others? Aren't they coming? Oh, Kyoko, hi! There were only three people in the dining hall. Sakura, Hina, and Kyoko. So including me... Only four people? God, this is why I hate people who take their sweet time with everything! Anyway, let's wait a little while longer for the others. Okay. Let's wait. So we decided to wait in case anyone else showed up. But no matter how long we waited... Where is everybody? So it's 8 o'clock. We've been waiting here for a full hour. Why haven't the others come? Hero and Celeste have never missed a day. Till now. And what I'm really worried about is Hifumi and Taka. They were more eager than anyone to look after Alter Ego, and they're not here. Something must have happened. Huh? I was careless. I was too distracted by Alter Ego. But Monokuma gave us a motive. There was no way something wouldn't happen eventually. Monokuma's motive. Oh my gosh. But ten million dollars! I prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out here alive. What do you think? It's ten million bucks! Ten million smackaroos! It's like totally wowie wowie wow wow, am I right? Don't tell me someone did something for money. But if someone did something, we have... Yakia, Toko, Celeste, Hiro, and Hifumi gone. So if they were all a part of the murder, there's only two witnesses to call a, uh, everybody to the scene of the murder, right? So that's what I wanted to say, but I didn't bother. I already understood. I understood, and I hated that I did. You can never really know about another person completely. Anything can happen here. And you can't consider it strange. Not really. We need to go look for the people who never showed up. Uh, okay, let's go track them down. Without another word, we left the dining hall. We can cover more ground if we split up. Sakura, you go check the dorms. Make sure to check all of our rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second floor. What about Hina? Okay, then I guess I'll check the third floor. Don't take any risks. If anything happens, call for help right away. I really hope nothing happens. So do I. Okay, let's go. Anxiety was written across each of our faces as we went our separate ways. Without hesitating, I rushed to the first floor of the school. 
Okay. Okay, I need to look around the first floor. Okay. Do 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 do. Which I look in like every classroom. Do you want me to look in every classroom? I guess that would help. <laughs> it would help to look in every classroom just in case there's nobody in here. That note was there in the beginning. Okay. So I came out of this classroom. I'll go into this one. Make sure there's nobody sneaking around. Anybody in this classroom? Nope. This blackboard belongs to us now. Secret beauty? Oh! S someone Come here! What? That was Hina! She's supposed to be checking the third floor! There was no time to think. I was running for the stairs before I knew what was happening. Uh-oh. I flew up the stairs leading to the third floor. Right away, I saw her standing there in the hallway. <laughs> Makoto! Hina, what's wrong? And with that, I'm gonna end this episode here. <laughs> I know, it's a cliffhanger again. But don't worry, tomorrow we'll figure out what is wrong. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to, you can like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want, and stay tuned for the next episode of Dingham Rumpa tomorrow. Bye bye!